right, you guys, time for an update. It has been some time. I've been quite busy doing other projects and for my regular job. Now, we have practically got the LC Engineering used engine installed. Most every one of the big parts is put back on here. And it went in pretty good. Um, yeah, we've had to put in a new exhaust connector down below. And uh, I guess I can show you that real quick. Cut that chunk off and weld it in that new section right there. Okay. But yeah, everything's pretty much back in here. Now, we are going to install the new air intake system, which replaces the stock factory air box. So that's a bit of a trick. So we're gonna have to kind of get that thing bolted right there, but we did remove the whole box that was over here, top and bottom. So there's some connections over here that I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna do about that. But we have reached the point now where we are just about to embark upon the adventure of figuring out the electrical ignition wiring system. So I've got all of the old uh, fuel injector wires here. Some of them are broken, sadly. Those are not going to be used. Uh, there's a couple of other wires here, for example, that are going to be bundled off. This is the position sensor, throttle position sensor. It does not, it's not compatible with that, but that's okay because it is not going to be used. Um, there are a handful of differences with this engine that I just didn't quite realize, didn't notice early on. Um, not sure exactly what the impacts will be, but we're going to figure it out. I believe, if I had to guess, that this is just an earlier 22RE. But it does appear as though, you know, a lot of the vacuum hose system, vacuum system has been deleted, you could say. And so, hmm. <laughs> we are, anyway, nonetheless, we are just about to embark upon figuring out this freaking mess okay let me lay this thing out for you and i'll talk you through what i'm seeing here we are now this is called the simple digital systems programmable engine management em4 for electronic fuel injection now it is supposedly a performance system uh this is going to be the controlling unit inside the cab this is uh some sort of lean rich controller there's the computer uh here we've got a relay panel fuse block the the uh fuel injector connectors as well as the throttle position sensor Looks like here we've got some sort of a vacuum sensor. And then this one I believe plugs in, or one of these plugs into the top of the fuel rail, or something like that. And then all the way over here is the ignition coil pack. So, I really wish that I didn't have to install this. Uh, two things is, number one, let's say I get it installed and it actually works. Um, you know, this is practically my tr son's truck. So let's say he gets down there into freaking Moab and uh, some freaking glitchy thing happens. I, it's hard to have much confidence in a freaking rat nest basket case system like this, number one. Number two is if I spend more than three days probably scratching my head trying to figure it all out, it's probably not going to be worth my while, and I will just revert back to putting the distributor on with the standard ignition coil and hope that we can make it work. Now, this company does, or LC Engineering does offer some sort of performance uh, distributor. They, you know, looking on their website, it sounds like the stock distributor sucks and doesn't give you as much power. So, I don't know. I mean, if I can get it to actually work, I'm sure it'll be worth it. Whoever was running this engine before in the other Toyota, I mean, it worked for him for a good long while, so we will try it, but it's going to be 
a freaking adventure and a nightmare and a headache figuring out where to install all this stuff and i guess the next video will be if we get this thing running so stay tuned